buddy. How are you? You're not doing too good, are you? No. Man. In my last video, uh, uh, I talked about Buddy and and uh, uh, I, I mentioned how he's at least 13 years old, uh, even though his exact age. But I, I said that uh, he's gonna be passing away sooner rather than later. And now it looks like that day's a lot sooner than I thought. I know, I know. Because, uh, yeah, he, he's changed uh, a lot just in the past few days. Now he's, uh, uh, not, a, not as active. Not moving much. He, he's just laying around the house uh, more than normal. Like, he was in uh, just one other spot earlier today. And then he moved to this spot and hasn't moved since. And, uh, he also uh, he's not eating or drinking as much. And that's never a good sign. He uh, just won't finish a bowl of food now. And he, he would used to, you know, eat it up in like a minute. Same with, same with like our other dog. But now, uh, he, and speaking of other dog, hi Lola, no, nothing's wrong with you, you're fine, you're fine, she's completely fine, it's this dog. Buddy, who's had all the uh, health problems. Come on, I'm not talking about you. No, you're completely healthy. You're fine. You're fine. You're gonna be with us for a long time. I know. <laughs> We've had you since you were a puppy. We got Buddy when he was uh, uh, around three years old. Got him from the uh, uh, local animal shelter. And we really don't know much about him before he got to the animal shelter. But he, he did used to be scared of men in the hats. So, uh, probably wasn't the greatest life, but he, he, he likes it a lot better with us, I know. It, uh, he just can't seem to catch a break with his health. He's had ear problems. Most of his life, uh, like just 30 years that's that he scratches at a lot, and he had to do a lot of cleaning. Uh, he had two gross, quote, uh, gross or, uh, like tumors kind of they, uh, they they were like big warts 
And he had one on his stomach that was just hanging on by just a tiny bit. It looked like it was going to fall off, but it never did. So we had, uh, we uh, took him into the vet to get it removed. And then they found out that he had a broken tooth, which was probably painful for him, but but he didn't seem to be in any pain. So he had that fixed and got the, the, uh, I don't know, weird thing on his belly removed. And then right after, after that was removed, we noticed something in his ear that kept getting bigger and bigger. And so we took him into the bed again and they gave him a bunch of pills and because they also discovered that he had like, I think they said MERS, MRSA, the bacteria in his ear, which can jump to humans and be very dangerous. Uh, fortunately, it, it never, never uh, uh, jumped to any of us. But they gave him all these pills and to get rid of the infection and to uh, control the the uh, the growth in his ear. And it was a lot of pills. Like every twelve hours, he was taking four or five. Pills. I he doesn't enjoy it. I know. Oh, and he also got a bacteria infection underneath his uh, collar on his neck. Yeah, right under here, and that that was smelling. So had to give him a bunch of pills for that to go away, which fortunately it did and had it returned. Uh, like in my last video, uh, I showed where he had another gross tumor thing removed from his elbow, which tested positive for melanoma like it, I'm still not sure if it was melanoma or if it was like melanoma cancer <laughs> it's, I still find strange that dogs can get that they have so much hair you think it'd be like like a, a protection it's weird. But it got that removed, and they also just decided to take out the gross in his ear out. So that, that's removed. But then, uh, uh, la last week, uh, just like right after I. I posted my last video uh his ear the the one that had the gross in it it, it was just bloody it, it lifted it up and it, there was all this blood and we didn't exactly know where it was coming from so, so we took him into the vet again and they found there was another tumor Thing. Cyst, I think it might be called. 
another thing underneath his ear hiding in the in his fur and I think he was scratching it and then making it bleed and then he would be like laying on his ear I think which is how the blood got up into his ear I think that's what happened so then they immediately had that removed uh, right after they they found it. That that was uh, last Friday, I think. And <laughs> he's just been on so many pills, I think. That probably has affected him, but seems like he's just taking a turn for the worst, or just like gone downhill quickly. Because when I take him for a walk, he's he's just so slow now. He's walking behind me. And he used to always be you know, at my side or in front of me. Or, you know, lol, I actually be pulling me. Oh, uh, and I remember, uh, when we first brought him home, uh, from the animal shelter, he would push he, uh, found, we found out that he would push the gate to the backyard open and then he would get out, but, uh, he would just stay in the front yard, just be there when I came home from, from school, laying there, uh, And <laughs> we never trained him or anything. He just knew how to stay in the yard, the front yard. I like that dog, the other one who takes off as, as soon as you open the door. But he will stick around. Uh, yeah, he'll, he'll stay in the front yard without a leash. And so we have another appointment with the vet on Sunday for Buddy. It was a follow-up appointment to, to, uh, his elbow surgery. And gonna have a long discussion with them about what to do because he's, he's just you know not eating as much and not as active you can't even uh, it, like it's really hard for him or really hard to get him up from laying down. It, it, it has been harder for him to move with his hips. Mm. But, I mean, he's lived such a good life. We've had him for a, a decade, a little bit more. And he seemed to be doing better last night. I was working. So I wasn't here, but my parents had over some friends and they, they said that he was more active and up more and moving. And he, he ate more. So he 
seemed to be doing better last night, but now he's just back to the way he was before. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about, you? When we got Lola. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you. You. Uh-huh. You. Uh, he, <laughs> he didn't seem to like her as a puppy at first, but then they, he kind of tolerated her and uh, he seemed to be, be uh, m a little bit more active with her, playing with her and, and better health wise, I think. Like he was get getting younger, still not sure how much Lola, uh, Buddy likes Lola. I know Lola likes Buddy a lot because if, if if I take Buddy out for a walk without her, she will wait by the door until I come home with Buddy. She wants to go everywhere Buddy does. Hmm. I don't know what she's going to do without him, but... I am sad, but... Uh, it's... It's not like... I didn't know this day would come. And, yeah, like I said, he's 13 years old, so in dog years, that's like 80, 80, 85, 80, 80 something years. So it, 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 it's probably time, but uh how do you feel about it huh what do you want to do buddy i'm gonna miss you we had one dog well technically we've had four dogs before these two two my parents had before I was born. And they, they, uh, died when I was a baby. But the one before Buddy also had ear infections. And we had to put her down because they just really got so bad her ears would balloon up full of fluid, so they, uh, it, it was for the best for the, her and probably going to be the best for Buddy. If there was another way, I would do it, take that way. But there probably isn't, or we'll see after Sunday, after our vet appointment. Yeah, but uh. It's not, it's not looking good. I love you, buddy.